Hey guys, and welcome to Let's Play The Sims 2 University, Part 1. I am Sweet Nightingale, and for those of you that don't know me or have just found my channel, I do Sims 3 Let's Plays, Sims 2 Let's Plays, and Original Sims, some Sims Medieval, and, um, you know, just a, a couple of other things, but uh, mostly mostly a lot of Sims 2 and some Sims 3, or mostly a lot of Sims 3 and some Sims 2, and, um, so anyway, uh, this is kind of a surprise, but it was kind of requested that I do a, a Sims 2 University Let's Play. And, uh, you know, I hadn't committed to it, so, you know, I think this will be kind of a nice surprise for my subscribers and for those of you that may run across this that like Sims 2 University. So um, I want to go ahead and get a couple of things off my uh, chest or straightened out or whatever before we get going. Um, Number one, I'm playing this game with a visual impairment, so I don't have, uh, you know, as good of eyesight as uh, a lot of people do, but, uh, you know, I, I deal and I do pretty well, but uh, my gameplay is more slow, uh, slow paced and relaxed, so if you're looking for somebody that's going to barrel through like a bull in a china shop and do some really fast movements with the camera and just really clicking through the choices like really fast, um, you're going to be really disappointed with my style of gameplay, but if you're looking for something that's just really relaxed, very kind of little slower paced where uh, you can kind of take in a little bit of, of everything at a slower pace than um, then this is going to be the gameplay uh, let's play series for you so uh, and number two um, now um, I do not tolerate haters so uh, any hater comments are going to be removed and if it's if it's uh, warranted like if I feel if it's warranted um, if it's bad enough or whatever then that person is going to get blocked so you can make suggestions you can kind of laugh at maybe some comical things I do that's fine you know because I'll laugh right along with you but uh, hater comments, mean comments, anything like that, um, I will not stand for. Uh, I just think it's childish and rude, and it's just not um, the way to be. <laughs> All right, so with that said, let's go ahead and get going. Now, we're going to go ahead and play in Desiderata Valley. And... I won't read you the whole description because those of you that know Sims 2, you know, can kind of read that for yourself. It's pretty, you know, it's just a... Uh, you know, just a, a really nice town to be in. So uh, anyway, let's go ahead and get going here. And we're, uh, some of you that aren't familiar with Sims 2, um, you know, that have just played Sims 3, there's a lot more loading screens in Sims 2. So there's gonna be a lot of differences between Sims 2 and Sims 3. And I'm more used to Sims 3 uh, because that's what I started off in because I'm a relatively new simmer. I've been simming for, oh, I guess almost a year now. Um, and I actually made my very first Let's Play on December 13th with uh, Sims 3. And then later on, I got Sims 2 and started making some Sims 2 um, stuff. But uh, yeah, so all around, I'm a pretty new simmer and I started off with Sims 3 and uh, wasn't really used to Sims 2. And I'm, you know, slowly getting used to Sims 2. I'm really liking it a lot. I mean, I, you know, I'm more used to Sims 3, so I kind of tend to like that a bit more. But um, I tend to kind of run into a little bit more glitches with Sims 3 than I do Sims 2. But um, for those of you that uh, don't have any Sims games, that if you're kind of looking to get a Sims game or something, um, Sims 2 is a pretty good workhorse. I mean, sometimes you may have a hard time finding some of the expansion packs in that because it's an older game, you know, having been made in like 2004. And I think the last expansion was made in 2008 or 2009, right before Sims 3 came out. But um, if you're looking for something that's not going to take as much demand on your computer, like if you don't have a lot of memory or anything, then uh, Sims 2 is really good. You can, you know, you can get away with playing Sims 2 and um, it won't be uh, quite so bad. So anyway, we're going to go ahead and choose a university. College chooser. And let's go ahead and let's do Sims State University. And this is actually my very first university uh, Let's Play series. I've messed with university a little bit because, like, those of you that may have watched my current Sims 2 household for September, I had a sim at in uh, Strangetown, and I put her in um, Academy Latour. So uh, that's fun. And she's kind of like one of my go-all-out ones. So that's one I actually use some cheats for because I just wanted to... Um, kind of, you, you know, just experiment with a lot of things that I hadn't played with yet. So uh, she's sort of my little go all out sim. <laughs> but this uh, thing, we're not going to use any money cheats or anything. We'll just kind of play it, uh, you know, play it as we go. And now university will not last forever. Uh, you know, they just have the four years that they go through. And really, it goes through pretty quickly. I mean, I played, um, I think in one afternoon, I actually played... Um, Probably up until my son's junior year, like in one afternoon, <laughs> and 
what you hear in the background may be my my doggies. But uh, yeah, I ended up playing up to her junior year like in one afternoon. So um, the the university itself will not last forever. And once they're out of university, they can't go back. So they've only got like one shot to make good grades and accomplish whatever it is that they want to accomplish. And I think after maybe we get this done, if you guys are liking it, I think we'll um, like once university ends, we'll use the same sim and maybe do some uh, Bon Voyage because uh, I really enjoy the vacation destinations too. But anyway, first things first, <laughs> let's go ahead and make our, um, make our student. Now, um, I'm only going to make like one sim because sometimes like with university and that, um, you know, because they have to develop all these skills and stuff, it can be really hard to maintain like three and especially like four sims and all that. And to, you know, just, just to kind of be able to get them to do what you need them to do and, you know, to get them to have good grades and to get the grant money. Cause the better your grades are, the more grant money you're going to get at the end of your uh, year. So, um, just you know, just to kind of make my life easier and just so that you guys can really see uh, what university gameplay is all about, I think we'll just do one sim. Now, I will incorporate some things from other expansion packs and stuff. Like, I'm not going to just stick with university clothing, university furniture. You know, I will use things from um, objects and all that from other expansion packs. But um, we're going to center on the... Um, the uh, gameplay for university and what uh, you know and what you're going to have to do to get good grades and we'll go to the student center and some of the community lots that come with the um, university uh, campus. So let's go ahead and we're going to make our student here because um, I haven't rambled. So create new students and I don't play Sims 2 as often so. I kind of I kind of have to get a little used to like where the buttons are again because I'm I'm so used to Sims 3 that sometimes this uh, if I don't play for a while I kind of go duh <laughs> so just bear with me but uh, you know we'll muddle through and uh, we'll have a lot of fun so I hope you guys have are still sticking around at this point even after all my talking <laughs> and uh, yeah we'll just kind of uh, we'll have a little bit of fun together and we'll have some laughs and you know. We'll just have a lot of fun, is all I can say. I do like the music in Sims 2. I mean, Sims 1 music is the greatest, but there's a lot of really great uh, Sims 2 music. So anyway, we need to choose a um, inter-household name. So um, Edwards. Whoops. Edwards. All right. All right, so we're going to go ahead and make a female Sim. To start out with, let's call her Teresa. Teresa. It's kind of funny how they kind of yawn and get a little bored, like when you're trying to create them, you know. Um, Edwards. Edwards. All right. So. Female. Let's go ahead and pick maybe the skin tone here because if we pick the lightest one she's going to look really pale like a vampire like you know she's not been out in the sun in years so we'll go ahead and give her a nice nice healthy glow here and let's go ahead and pick um we'll kind of make her you know fit here's what here's what she'd look like fat <laughs> but we'll go ahead and make her uh we'll go ahead and make her a fit sim because uh they've, they've got the sometimes they got the tendency to get fat like if you if you have them eat like a lot of food and stuff so let's go ahead and do some heads. I will try not to make a career of this uh, because I don't want to spend the whole part like making um, making sims here or making a sim. Um, let's go ahead and, and give her this head here. Okay, hair and face. Now I don't have any custom content in my game and I've been meaning to kind of look for different hairstyles and stuff that, uh, you know, that, that I want to download and, and all that, uh, you know, some clothing and stuff that, uh, you know, that's, that's, uh, you know, got some really good stuff. So, um, so I tend to kind of, you know, because I don't have any of that right now, I t kind of tend to use some of the same stuff over again, but let's go ahead and, and give her, hmm. That's a bridal veil. We don't want to give her a bridal veil. <laughs> but um, I think they have better, like, wedding clothes, I think, in Sims 2 than they have in Sims 3, I have to say. Mm. 
what to give her, what to give her. We've got like a lot of hats and stuff, a lot of, uh, a lot of stuff that came with uh, Seasons. A lot of stuff that did come with Seasons because they need to keep warm. Well, we'll give her this hair. I think I used this on one of my other, on one of my other uh, Sims. Yep, I totally, totally got to find some stuff to, to get. Just to, you know, just for some different choices and stuff. But let's go ahead and give her this hair. Full face. I just kind of tend to pick something. Some eyes. Give her some, give her some blue eyes there. Let's go ahead and give her like... That's, that's one big nose. <laughs> that nose sticks out. I've noticed that a lot of times, like, all the noses in Sims 2 look like big beaks. <laughs> they really do. I guess let's go ahead and give her that one. And I guess her mouth is okay. John chin, I guess, are all right. Uh brow. There we go. We can give her that. All right. Makeup, uh, makeup and all that good stuff. So let's go ahead and give her like, oh, here's some blush. Maybe, maybe that. Eyeliner. Okay, we can give her this eyeliner here. Eyeshadow. Ooh, we don't want to look goth, do we? No, that would not be good. We can give her that. And some lipstick. Ooh, that's, that's pink. <laughs> uh, I don't like that. Holy moly, black lipstick? Are you guys serious? Ew. <laughs> well, it's not quite black, but it's like really, 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 really dark. Eh. I guess this pink lipstick will be alright. You know. It's pretty, it's pretty shiny, but you know, whatever, <laughs> whatever works. Okay, let's go ahead and do some clothing here. And we're going to go ahead and go into full outfits because uh, I'm just lazy that way. <laughs> now, when I kind of do, um, do Sims like on my own or whatever, I just, I pretty much just pick, uh, sometimes it will go and in, go into the pants and shirts and stuff, but you know, I don't know if there's really anything here that I like. Some of this looks a little freaky. <laughs> um, oh, we can we can let her wear this dress. I think um, the Ultimate Gamer 19 put Fiona in this dress, <laughs> but we'll go ahead and wear this dress. Formal wear. <clears throat> Let's go ahead and maybe give her. I think I might have given Jacqueline one of these dresses, like in my um, regular Sims 2 gameplay. Undies. Oh, she can, she can wear red undies, I guess. That works. How about some uh, PJs? We'll give her something kind of nice for PJs, you know. Let's see. Oh, here we go. Here's some pink ones. <laughs> Very pink. Yeah. But that that kind of looks like too grannyish though. I mean it's you know the color is pretty loud, but to me that looks just a little bit too uh too grannyish. Maybe something like like that. Yeah, maybe something like that. Now it's kinda hard to see like the whole outfit because I think my resolutions are kind of off in this little box with all the with all the uh you know, with all the stuff in it, just kind of gets in the way a little bit, but we do the best we can. Swimwear. Mm. 
<laughs> about the swimsuit. Oh, Might have, have given that one to Jacqueline. I'm not sure. Uh, athletic. How about that little dress to work out in? That works. And then some outerwear. Hmm. Okay, yeah. Woman in black and brown, I guess. That works. That shall do. All right, so there are her clothes. Okay, personality. Oh. <laughs> Zumbala. <laughs> Okay, I won't make her too terribly active, but kind of do some outgoing, kind of do, uh, kind of serious, kind of, we'll put that like in the middle of the road right there. Um, we'll make her pretty nice, pretty outgoing, yeah. Just kind of bump up the, kind of bump up the uh, neat right there. We'll put we'll put a lot of that kind of in the middle of the road, kind of. You know, there's really nothing like really super high like down there, but yeah, um, yeah. All right, so we need a an aspiration here. Let's do pleasure aspiration, and it says uh, Sims with the pleasure aspiration love wild nights out, cozy nights in, and what most Sims would consider the good life. Uh, they'll want to they'll want to use objects that provide them with fun and comfort while avoiding activities that cause stress or uh, equate to work of any kind. Uh, kick their aspiration meters into platinum by pursuing their whims of the moment. As these Sims can change their uh, taste, these Sims can change their taste on a dime as they travel on their on their path to ultimate life of luxury. So we'll go ahead and give her this aspiration, and I mean we're gonna you know try to have her get good grades because the more the like I was saying the better grades that she gets the uh, the uh, what you call it uh, the more grant money that we're gonna get. So uh, we'll go ahead and give her the pleasure aspiration. And, you know, because a lot of times, like with university, you know, they do like to kind of go out and have parties and have a little bit of fun. So we're going to go ahead and do some turn-ons and stuff. Uh, let's go ahead and do, she can like formal wear and she can like, uh, da -da -da -dum. there's like a lot of, uh, there's like a lot of uh, things to choose here. Okay, now we're getting into the hair and skills and stuff. Hard worker, uh, unemployed, uh, athletic, <laughs> zombieism, witchism, lycanthropy, which is werewolf. Okay, so yeah, that kind of gets into more of the supernatural stuff. Let's say that she likes fitness. I kind of tend to go with the formal wear and fitness a lot. Turnoffs will say she does not like stink okay so that will be her turn-ons and turn-offs let's go ahead and do accept sim all right so here we go oh please remove any of the following characteristics from your household name okay edwards all right there we go Okay, the Edwards household. Yay! Yippee! So now our next step is to find her some place to move. And she's got like 500 bucks. <laughs> so we need to find her a place to live. And I guess we could... Uh, how about the Lane Grab house? Nine dorms, I guess. We can um, move her into here.
Yes. And again, we have another loading screen. So I think what we'll go ahead and do with her is we'll get a major declared for her and we'll get her uh, right to work and then I think we'll end the part. And then in part two, we'll actually get into some gameplay and get her well on her way. So as soon as this loads, we'll see what kind of major that we can get. And we'll show you what these dorms look like and so forth. Because I think we've got to claim a room. Yeah, here we go. we got to claim a room. And we may even ha end up having to furnish it or something. So, yeah. I'm going to just kind of... We'll see what it looks like once we get inside. All right. Well, I think what we'll do is we'll go ahead and declare a major... Uh, we don't want to play the games, but we are on the computer. Let's go ahead and college. She can write her term paper. Uh, let's register and declare a major, first of all. All right. Oh, we have uh, we have something at the door, I think. All right. Now, here are all the majors that we can have. There is philosophy major, that's a little bit too serious for her, I think, biology, economics, uh, mathematical, political science, ew, <laughs> literature, uh, physics, history, psychology, and drama major. Now, dr um, I kind of tend to go between like drama and literature because there's a lot of, you know, really fun things that they can do in there. It says Drama, the study of performance. Sims are born to perform, be it dancing, joking, or busting a move. However, it is only these Sims who, and I gotta scroll down here, these Sims who who uh, delve into the delve into drama that manage to transcend merrymaking and uh, create art. So, you know, entertainment, dance. Uh, athletic, politics, and uh, show business. So, uh, so focus skills, charisma, creativity, body, and logic. And let's go ahead and let's go ahead and do drama. I haven't done drama for quite a while. So let's go ahead and pick drama. All right. Now I think we have to claim a room, I think. Other Sims are now beginning to move into the lot. Don't uh, don't forget to finish claiming your dorm room for for claiming uh, dorm rooms for all your Sims. So I'm not sure how we go about claiming the room. Let's see. Okay. Yep. Let's go ahead and claim this. Let's go ahead and claim this door. There we go. That works. And we have the computer right in our right in our room. <laughs> Yay. Go figure. Look at that. Now we should get a dresser. To, well, actually we have a dresser. Or we need to get a dresser to put in here. So we can we can go ahead and do that later. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do that later. But we have the computer in our room. Yay. <laughs> so. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end the, end the uh, part here. And in part two, we'll actually get into the gameplay. We'll have her work on her term paper. And then, you know, we'll go to like a student center and see if we can make some friends and all that good stuff. So, uh, oh, we've got, we've got something at our, our door here. Before I end the part, let's go ahead and get our present or something. We have like, oh, okay. We have, well, we, we have, uh, we have a friend here to, to talk to. So, um, So in the next part, we'll just, we'll begin with, with uh, her greeting Tiffany, um, the Sim Tiffany. It says, uh, other Sims are now, oh, yep, so we claimed our, our room. Anyway, guys, you have a Simtastic day. Uh, don't forget to favorite and like this video. Subscribe if you want to see more of this uh, gameplay and this series, and uh, I hope you do. Uh, leave a comment, tell me what you think, and um, we'll talk to you guys all later. Bye, guys.